I'm Scott Johnson and I'm going to be talking about work holding for the mill. Work holding is very important to the machine process. Often underestimated and largely not optimized as much as it can be. Think of work holding as the launching pad for what it is you'd like to make. And you will realize then the importance of proper work holding and its application. A couple of things that can be uh, greatly improved with proper work holding is to optimize machine time, quality improves, and less cost. I've broken this into two categories to help uh, highlight various accessories. One is vice related, the other one is T-spot related. Between these two categories, most work holding solutions can be covered. So we'll start off with vice related work holding strategies. We have two vices that we sell. One is the machinist vice and one is the CNC vice. They're both good vices. They have particular applications. The CNC vise has a particular application which is nice. This surface is ground which enables you to actually set the vise on its side and clamp it that way and you could have your workpiece mounted in the jaws and machine it perpendicular. The machinist vise does not have that capability, but it does have the capability to be more robust in that it can be clamped down on the flange on the side, whereas the CNC vise is toe clamped. So it's a personal preference. This vise has application for those projects where you may be more concerned about the vise moving. It can be um, clamped down more efficiently because it has the side flange. This one is toe clamped. They both uh, are good vices and would have their particular application. With vices, you can take out the jaws and replace them with a, no a number of different jaw styles and types. And we have a large array of options we have machinable jaws, which are a good solution for customizing the jaws for particular jobs. And I'll show you one such application. We have hardened jaws that are generally what you have in the vise. We have different size jaws. Some are taller, some are shorter. We have jaws called monster jaws, which again are suited for customizing and for using for particular jobs that you may want to repeat where uh, location is important. Here's an example of jaws that were customized and in the vise. Here you'll see the jaws were machined out to allow a round piece of material to be put in. Optimizing location where you could have your work offset set and each piece would go in the same spot. Then we have another location where the portion that was machined in the first location could then be put here and held. Customizing jaws is a really nice solution to hard work holding conditions where you can optimize your work holding. Another accessory you'll need with your vise are parallels. Here we have a set of parallels. 
These parallels come in pairs, which allow you to place one on each jaw, depending on the workpiece height you have. You can vary the height of the parallel appropriately. This is something every machinist will need. A uniqueness of these parallels is they are 5 inch, though, so they specifically fit in our 5 inch jaws. Most parallels are 6 or 4 inch. Along with the machinist vise and CNC vise, we have smaller machinist vices which actually are placed inside the larger vise. In this case, we have a sign vise which allows you to put your workpiece in the jaws and then adjust to a certain angle. Once you've done that, you would place the entire vise inside the jaws on the larger vise and machine that way. We have a number of different size machinist vise. This one, a smaller one as you can see, has a small V-block in it, so you could mount something round and then place it inside the larger vise. That's a handy option. Another nice feature that can be used in the larger vise are V-blocks. They are sold generally in sets. In this case, the V-block can be used for putting a round part in, clamped, and then this could then be clamped in the larger vise. V-blocks are very helpful because they're ground on all sides and be, can be clamped in different angles. 5C collets are another option and they can be put into a fixture like this. Tighten down. This is a very nice accessory for round parts. We have many different size 5C collets. In fact, you can get them in hex and square and different shapes. Then this is placed inside the vise and can be held in place for machining, in this case, round parts, but as I said, also hex or square with various different diameters and sizes with using different collets. The second category I'll discuss is T-slot related work holding options. One accessory every machinist should have is the strap clamp kit, which has a number of T-slot bolts, clamps, and studs, and nuts. With this, you can clamp a wide size and variety of work pieces on the actual T-slots in the bed, on the bed of your machine. In the strap clamp kit, you have the studs of varying length, the T-nuts, which go into the T-slots, the clamp, which goes, has a slot so the stud can go through it, and then the standoffs. which are segmented so you can adjust the height according to the workpiece height. You have shorter standoffs for shorter pieces. And then finally, the bolt that holds the clamp down onto the workpiece. The T-slot nut slides into the T-slot on the machine table, can be moved into the appropriate location, then the stud of the appropriate length for the workpiece you'll be clamping, then the clamp, and the standoff, which can be adjusted to hold the appropriate size workpiece. Then 
the nut. Along with that, we have a clamp that's adjustable this way without the standoff. Here too we have the T-nut, the clamp, the stud, which will screw in to the nut. This doesn't have to have a standoff. It's incorporated into the clamp and then the nut. And this allows for adjusting to different size work pieces. Similar to that with the brass that will not mar up the workpiece. This is an example of an aluminum fixture plate. The holes can be used for locating. You can use the T-slot dowel pin holder where this would be placed in the T-slot and then the fixture plate fits over the dowel pin. This is nice for using as a sacrificial plate if you need to cut down into the surface of the plate. It's aluminum and can be replaced easily. The other advantage to this is it actually increases the distance that you can cover with the workpiece. You can put this in, machine as much as you can on the one side, rotate it, relocate on the pin, and pick up and in effect extend the travel of your machine. We also have clamps which can fit in your T-slot and then clamp on the side. They're spring-loaded so they pop up when you take the pressure off. This has been a brief overview of Work Holding Solutions. We also have several books for more information and at our website.